We uh, say hi and a warm welcome uh, to Dr. Thomas Freudenmann. He is the co-CEO and co-founder of a company called EDI GmbH. Uh, Thomas, uh, it's good to have you here uh, and uh, we're looking forward to the presentation about EDI. Yeah, thank you for the nice introduction. Thank you that we can be here. Yeah, welcome to my presentation. My name is Thomas Freudenmann. I'm the CEO uh, and co-founder of EDI and EDI, Engineering Data Intelligence. The name is here program. We like to semantically link the data and provide AI-based decision models for, to support the engineers, but also to automate machines, or in the case of, of this presentation, also the vehicles. And what we have built up, it's a platform, it's called EDI Hive, so that we really can provide digital products for our customer. And this platform, it means uh, we have a framework where we have a lot of standard modules already integrated. So we have a user and write management system uh, included because data security, data privacy, it's a, a hot topic also in Germany, also in Europe. And also uh, we really keep care about this topic in our company. But also we have a lot of algorithm already integrated as standard modules to analyze data, to store the data, and to work with the data. And one of our business cases is that we can bring uh, your company logo to the and your corporate design to our platform. So that means you can sell it as a digital product. And also we have an application framework so that we can really develop in a fast way uh, new applications and we can use here standard modules so that we um, yeah, be able to have a fast return of invest of your uh, product. And we are coming from the semantic web. So we, when we make our PhDs, my colleague Dr. El Hachi and I, we were focusing on these uh, knowledge management systems and how we can reuse engineering data in an efficient way. And all we guys know is from uh, the, um, Google, uh, it's easy to find information. So now we are located here in Esslingen um, in, in, this, uh, in this virtual booth of the Hannover Fair. But for me, it was really easy to come here and to find it. And I get the, the map here and I get also the opening time of this uh, location. So that is what we get from uh, the Google provided. And in a company, in the most cases, we have to search for files and we have to know that something is stored somewhere. And exactly this is where we're working since more than 12 years on that we automatically find relevant information and we provide the right decision to the engineers and use it, for example, for better products or for automate machines. And one other main focus from our company is AI artificial intelligence. So I think everybody hear about these words. So I just want to give an uh, interpretation from our side what a real AI is for us uh, or what it means for us as to have a real AI. So there are a lot of different machine learning algorithm available. And in the most cases, if you talk about AI, you will hear deep neural networks. But also, you have to keep in mind that there are a bundle of other machine learning algorithms which are really strong for other data. And uh, neural networks works really good for images. And I think also there is a good yeah, uh, tool to use and a good algorithm to use. But also we are working for, on time series signals. So there are a lot of other algorithms available which are really good to use. And the most important thing is if we are working together with small companies where an expert is standing since 35 years in front of a machine, of a process, or also if he uh, runs a machine, so he has a lot of knowledge in mind and also in the companies are some strong simulation tools available and also to integrate this information into the data algorithm, then you get the real AI because you include the business logic into exactly uh, this algorithm. And I think that's an uh, important thing and that's exactly when you can make right decisions. And that is what we are doing with our toolbox of different machine learning algorithms, but also we have a patented technology to in integrate this uh, expert knowledge in our algorithm so that we get a real AI and we really make the right decision which also supports the engineers and automate the machines. 
Our, our platform is also cloud-based, so there are a lot of cloud-based platforms available, and I'm really happy about this because that means we can integrate really easy. So we also partner, for example, of Siemens MindSphere. That's the IoT cloud environment from Siemens where if you have a Siemens machine, but also if you have other machines, you can store really easy from the shop floor the data in the Siemens mines here, and then companies like us, we can analyze the data, and it's really easy to get access to the data, and that's the good thing of cloud technology. It's not about the storing place, because also we are working since more than four years together with the, with the Daimler AG here, located in Stuttgart, next to this uh, nice building here, and uh, we are running with our, in, with our EDI Hive platform framework on the Daimler Hybrid Cloud. And uh, in, in this case, we provide management applications to, to make the product differentiation so that the people know which kind of parts they can overtake and which they have to produce new and where we, get new t uh, where we need new uh, tools uh, to produce the parts. So this is, we are run in, uh, on the Daimler Hybrid Cloud. It's an intra-server system with the same cloud technology, which we are also using for our customers, where we are hosting everything, for example, on NetWays or Strato. And this works because we are basing on Kubernetes, and that is uh, why it's really easy to integrate. And we really believe in this ecosystem of different platforms that they are working together and uh, you can deploy your solution in different uh, environments. And that's also one of our business that we deploy our services in the environment which our customer wants to have. So now I want to focus on the autonomous driving stuff. So I was skipping one slide, sorry. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, we keep you safe on the road. So, I was keeping this important slide. We keep you safe on the road, and uh, therefore, we developed a dynamic risk management algorithm. And we can use the dynamic risk management algorithm not only for autonomous vehicles, like a Google car, which uh, out any driver. We are also can use this algorithm for the development of this kind of systems, but also for conventional cars or for navigation, for example, if you are driving on a bicycle. And how this works, I will explain in the next slides. The basic of our algorithm, and that is what you can see here in this video, we, we analyze a lot uh, and more than 100,000 critical incidents <coughs> which are recorded in the area of Tokyo in Japan and which are labeled manual from exports which are at a university and they give a label. Uh, for example, there was a pedestrian crossing the street, it's at night time, uh, but also we have the information, for example, if the pedestrian was um, yeah, recognized, the taxi or not, or if the pedestrian was drunken. So this kind of labels we find in this database and that's really important and powerful because Based on this, we can analyze the driving context when critical situation happens. And also, we get from the exports, manual labeled, uh, the, the level of risk of each situation. And based on this algorithm, we train our uh, AI. And also, we could show um, two years ago now on a, on a conference in, in US uh, that we can use our algorithm, the dynamic risk management algorithm, which also includes a driver model that we can find the right speed in different situations. And we, we, are, we coupled it with the PTV Visim uh, simulation environment from the PTV group. So PTV is also located in Karlsruhe, where EDI is from. And we could show that this algorithm works. So that means in a uh, in, in, uh, in the simulation environment, we could give uh, the, the, the driver of PTV Wism, we could give the information from our dynamic risk management algorithm, and then the, the car was driving uh, in, in, in the context with the right speed, and we could reduce the, the accidents and also the critical situations. And the most important thing about our dynamic risk management algorithm is that we have a prediction how uh, probably is that uh, um, a critical situation happens, and then we reduce 
the, the speed before we are coming in this situation. So our dynamic risk management algorithm is not, not a emergency break system assistant. So we help with this algorithm to find the speed much before uh, something critical happens. And this algorithm we can not only use now in the simulation or in the car, we can also use this algorithm to identify on recorded um, situations if a critical situation happens or not. And here we automatically find out in a Berkeley data set, uh, for example, this critical situation, uh, which uh, yeah, appears because on the right side it's a construction site, so there's no space, so the driver has to brake really hard. And we can, identi we, we can analyze this situation now with father AI tools uh, to find out what was exactly the reason and how an autonomous vehicle should behave in this kind of situation to avoid critical situations. So in, in this case, we can use the algorithm to analyze automatically recorded files and uh, figure out where is the in interested part, for example, where we have to optimize our autonomous vehicle functions. And this is exactly where we also use this algorithm in a founder project it called Rely Risk Estimation with a Learning AI. Uh, EDI is here in the lead of this project, but we have strong partners with uh, Fraunhofer EOSB, which is also located in uh, Karlsruhe, but also Fraunhofer IAO and University Stuttgart is working together with us here in this project. They are located here in Stuttgart and uh, a company who brings these things in the simulation. And it's also a really well-known company. It's IPG with the IPG car maker. I think a lot of uh, people who are working in the automotive area knows this company. And also this company is located in Karlsruhe. And uh, this company is uh, founded 40 years ago as a spin-off from the KIT. So EDI is uh, founded five years ago as well as a spin-off, so we have some way in front of us, but uh, we are really happy that we can work together. And also you can see here, uh, as a associate partner, the A-Mobile organization. So we are really also happy that we are in this community because uh, yeah, it's a strong working together and also we can see here on the event that uh, yeah, this, this communication and cooperation is really helpful. And also, and that is what I said, we can use this algorithm not only to develop uh, better systems and to certify uh, these systems, we can also use this algorithm for uh, a safe navigation. And this is a project which was uh, or is started in the beginning of this year and it runs one year. It's founded also from the Baden-Württemberger government in a, um, in a special project. And also here we have strong partners um, with uh, Fraunhofer from Freiburg and Innovex from Karlsruhe and Carlo Cargo. It's a, a, they are producing uh, heavy bikes, uh, which you can transport um, goods. And for these guys, it's really important to find a safe road to, to deliver the, 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 the products to the customer. And exactly therefore, we can use our dynamic risk management because we can predict which road it's in a special time of the day, uh, more, more dangerous than other road, and we can not find the fastest way, like Google Maps is doing it for us. We can find a safe, uh, a safe way to the destination, and that's a, a new dimension of uh, navigation, and I think that's a really nice project where we start, what we start here, and also the output of this project can help a planner of cities that they can uh, make safer roads. So also this output, it's really relevant. This is why PTV uh, group, PTV group, it's also included in this project. Yeah, so at the end, we, I, I mentioned we are also a spin-off from the KIT. So we are five years old, or more than five years old, five and a half year old, and we are now uh, 20, two people from around 40, 14 different nations. So, so we are a really international team. And yeah, we have uh, many customers so from the region like uh, Daimler. Uh, and also we work together with Siemens, but also we work together with customers from uh, Korea and, and Japan. 
And yeah, I can say thank you and also thank you that I can have my presentation here. And if you are interested in, in our product, so for data analytics stuff to, to yeah, empower your development, or if you are interested in, in these mobility solutions, please contact us. So we are really happy to work with you together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Thomas Freudenmann uh, from uh, EDI, telling us about uh, uh, your company and about yeah, artificial intelligence and all the interesting topics uh, um, uh, would have been uh, an interesting part for our uh, uh, today's uh, session in the morning about automated driving too, but uh, then we do this next time. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the panel discussion uh, um, uh, later on. And uh, right now, we skip. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you.